Hello and welcome to my channel. It's story time. We haven't had a Ronald story for a while, have we? So we'll be reading out of the Ronald book. And of course, Ronald comes into play and Mrs. Ronald comes into play. Let's see what they get up to today. So this story is called Ronald and his new scarf. One winter's day, Ronald was out in the cold air and said to Mrs. Ronald, I wish I had a nice warm scarf to wear. He was frozen to the bone. All he could do was shake. Ronald wondered how long it would take for Mrs. Ronald to knit him a nice warm scarf. He knew she was good at knitting and he knew she was a fast knitter. Perhaps in a short while he would have one to keep out the cold with it wrapped snugly around his neck. Turn our page. Mrs. Ronald did not need asking twice. Her thoughts were racing away with themselves. What colour could it be? How long would it need to be? Should she knit or crochet it? What kind of wool would be best? If it were too fluffy, it would make Ronald sneeze more. All sorts of questions were going through her head. She had made plenty of scarves for herself and for her friends, but she had not made one for Ronald. This would be a first. Mrs Ronald was soon knitting away. She could not remember how many stitches to use, so she guessed at it. Once she had knitted about two inches, she decided it would be too wide. She pulled the knitting off the needles and thought, I could do it in crochet. Mrs Ronald had to be careful when undoing the scarf because she wanted to use the same wool and had to make sure she did not get it too tangled up while she was undoing what she had already knitted. The second scarf was soon underway. Mrs Ronald liked to crochet as it took a lot less time than knitting and she was all for doing a job quickly but nicely of course. Mrs Ronald had so many crafts on the go at any one time. That is why she wanted to finish things quickly, so that she could move on to the next one. Mrs Ronald hoped that Ronald would be happy and warm with his new scarf. Once the scarf was finished, it only needed the final touches, and that was the embroidery. Mrs Ronald had decided to embroider a cross of many colours onto the bottom of the scarf. But as per usual, Mrs Ronald could not only do one cross, she embroidered three on one end and one big one on the other end. The finished scarf did look splendid. Can you see the finished scarf? It's good, doesn't it? I hope this is going to keep Ronald warm. Soon Ronald was walking out with his new scarf on. He was warm and everyone he met said how nice his new scarf looked. He was ever so pleased with how hard Mrs Ronald had worked. In fact, he wanted it to be a winter all the time so he could wear his new scarf. It wrapped around his neck twice and came down to his chest to keep that warm as well. Mrs Ronald knew how to make a good scarf, that was for sure. Do you have a nice warm scarf? And what Mrs Ronald had done, she'd made Ronald a new one, another one. Like in the Doctor Who colours, isn't it? And this one wraps twice around Ronald's neck and just onto his chest. So that one's going to keep Ronald warm as well. Now he has two scarves. Do you like making scarves? They're good to make. They're easy to make and they're so much fun. If you can't make it, get Mummy to make you one. Or Granny, she'll always make you one. I do hope you've liked today's story. And I do hope you're keeping up with our Ronald stories. Do stay safe and take care. Give me a thumbs up if you like the story. And do subscribe. There's plenty more to come. So that's bye bye for now.